I like that. You the did a little jazzy little dance. Yeah, then the good looking then. Uh, cooking healthy for your family, it all starts at the grocery yes, store. Yes, it does. Brad Wills is currently at the Jimbo's in Carlsbad with six healthy foods that are hiding in the frozen section. You look good with a cart, Brad. You look real nice with a cart. The shirt? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I f I, whoa, you don't like the shirt? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I mean, look I at them, it. we're kind of matchy. Thank look at this. Oh, it's very fall, it's very... Oh, okay, yeah. we're very fall-like. We're getting ready for Thanksgiving, yes. Very fall-like, yes. As we go down the runway in our fall like attire in Jimbo's. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Clinical Nutritionist. You know her, Krista Recchio. Hello. Our friend of the show. We are going to get you healthy this morning. As you said, we're going to go down the frozen food section here. We're going to find you six things you need to look out for to keep you healthy, uh, especially around Thanksgiving time and, and thereafter. So we'll take off and we'll go down the frozen food section here. Let's and do we'll it. Uh, hang out with some other shoppers as we show you what's important to look for when you head down this aisle, there's so many things you can get lost with, but there's a couple you want to focus on. We're going to start off with the burger Ve patties. Veggie burgers. The veggie burgers. Okay, do you have a favorite veggie burger, Brad? Uh, I was looking at the one a minute ago. I love the hemp and sage. That sounds delicious. Oh, look at you. That sounds like a very sophisticated uh, veggie wow, burger. Wow, how did we go right for that one? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so with veggie burgers, you can really go wrong. It doesn't mean they're healthy just because they're veggie burgers. Right. You never want to have soy or canola oil in your veggie burgers. Okay. So these are sunshine burgers. They're sunflower seed based. There is no junk in them. You can pronounce all the ingredients. Right. And they have four different flavors, so let's put that in our cart. We're gonna we're gonna have you try the hemp and sage. This is great. We're going shopping this morning because I usually I'm not a good shopper. And the good the good thing about this is we're gonna get you healthy this morning by looking at all these products. And and Chris is gonna pick up the tab. This is even better. Uh, so hemp and sage, and we're looking for the organic, right? Look for that as well. So these are important things. USDA organic, but this is the most important one to look for the non-GMO non project right. certified label. Okay. They're certifying so many brands right now. Okay. okay. We're gonna add these so in there. there. We go. There's we're a mushroom one. Those in. There's a mushroom one. Okay. Then there's this new one that's a dookie bean burger. A dookie? With, a dookie, yeah. A dookie. <laughs> with cumin, which is so good for your digestive system. Okay. And so these these burgers, they taste awesome. Taste a little bit sweet because that bean is kind of sweet. So good for your adrenals, your kidneys. Love the sound of that. Okay, and then we noticed inside there, there's like three patties. So if you look at the price mm -hmm. points on here, if you went and got three, like three chicken breasts, it's going to cost you probably seven, eight bucks. So this is pretty equivalent mm -hmm. to what you would pay for, say, like a chicken chicken breast or a turkey patty or something like that. Yeah, it comes out to about $1.30 a, a burger, which isn't bad. No, not bad at all. And then um, healthy. there's a new one, a new quinoa-based burger, free and dairy-free, okay. safe for food sensitivities, also certified by the non-GMO project. So those will probably be your three best veggie so burgers. So important to look for those two things, the organic and the non-GMO. Uh, non I love that, learning new things. Okay, we're moving on. We're going right. to go down the aisle here, and we're going to go to... What are we looking at now? This now we're going to look at a whole bunch of different meat products. Okay. In the frozen section that you can really only find in the health food store, which is why we're at Jimbo's. All right. This is my happy place. You love the yeah, broth. Yeah, I love you, you, Jimbo's. This is, yeah, you're liking the... This is heaven for you here, being inside here. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, okay, so this is um, the Flavor Chef. We've had him on Fox several times. So his uh, healing chicken bone broth. This okay. is that healing bone broth. Let's let's go ahead and take it with us. So okay. you can just defrost it, and then you make your soups out of it, Thanksgiving and soups out of it. what is that going to do for it. us? That is going to help to heal the digestive system. Gotcha. So if you have something called leaky gut or intestinal permeability, a lot of people actually have that. Uh -huh. It will help to heal it, and it will balance your hormones 30 to 50% right. faster. Look for the Chicken bone broth. I love that. Okay. You can, there's a, I love the sound of this one too, is the beef liver. <laughs> I really I actually don't love the sound of that, but no, you said it's good for us. It's good for you. Yeah, you know, I don't love the sound of it either, to be honest. I'm not a liver person to be right. able to eat it, but it is a super healthy food for those who are adventurous. And so beef liver is gonna strengthen your own liver. Oh wow. Which is really? amazing. And the liver is the organ that has to metabolize all the toxins of life. Yes. So you want to strengthen it so that it can handle so much. All right. And so if you guys want to try beef liver, you could blend it up with some ground beef and make a meatloaf out of it, and that way you, it's mixed and you don't have to right, taste it as much. Right, because you throw it out now like that and say, here's your yeah. beef liver. A lot of people are going to go, ugh, but ugh. your liver, beef liver for your liver. Beef liver for your liver. I'm sure we all have grandparents that love liver and onions, right? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, so okay. that'll pick up your energy almost instantly. All right, next up um, is... Smoked salmon. I think you like this, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, the catch here is it has to say wild. 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 So the idea, we're, wild. we're in the frozen section because if you keep this stuff stocked, then you always have food and you don't have to worry about it. Let's say you come home from a trip or you're running out of things, right. you just defrost it. And it's it. frozen right there. Okay. Okay. 
This and is a little wild. Let's talk about beef bones here. This is beef right. center sh cut shank. <laughs> beef center cut shank. And this might freak you guys out, but this is um, it's, actual bone with it's an right. actual femur bone Ooh. from a cow. I know. Oh, Krista. But I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're intense. Oh, wow. If you wanted to make your own beef broth, bone broth, because it has all the marrow. Bone marrow is going to be really supportive for any autoimmune condition. Right. It's going to strengthen the kidneys. It's going to help the bladder, everything. So if you wanted to use food as medicine, you would just put these in a crock pot with some rosemary and thyme and, and water and sea salt. Okay. And then you keep that on for 24 hours. You skim the fat off the top and then you have beef bone all broth. All right, we'll throw a couple in the card. Okay. Like, this is great stuff. I love it. Um, as right. we wrap up here, um, if you want to get a hold of Krista Arecchio, her information's on our website. It's fox5sandiego.com. Just click on the scene on tab. She'll let you know about all of this stuff that we're talking about this morning. And finally, the bison. And this is something you can do, too. Yeah. Super anti-inflammatory, amazing omega-3. Get it in your diet. It tastes good. If you like burgers, you'll like bison. Ground bison, everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I love uh, this. Is just, your passion for this is awesome, and you can feel it. Uh, Thanks, it's good Brad. stuff. Again, fox5sandigo.com. Click on that scene on tab. Guys, we'll throw back to you in the studio. I'm ready wow. to go. And good it's on stuff. Krista's dime. All right. Man, that was good stuff right there. And we don't have to pay for it even better. Thanks, Brad. Thank you, Krista.